Hey, we're here with the Mixtape Project. My name's Rochelle. We're here with the artist Timzy who just performed. So, how did it go? Um, I think it went well. I had quite a few supporters in the crowd, so yeah, I think it went well. That's good. So, what do you think about your feedback? Um, the feedback was it was good. It was good. Um, I feel like I let myself down at one point though. Oh, why, why did you feel that way? So, um, like in terms of my like stage presence and that. So I think that kind of got me judged on. Okay, so that's something you could have done better, but yeah. you still got next time, right? So, yeah. so how did your performance go? Um, I think it went well. You know, I got positive feedback from all three judges. So I think, yeah, I think it went well. I should go through to next round hopefully. That's but yeah, everything went well. So, what do you feel you could have done better? You know what? I'm not even lying to you. You know, at the end of it, yeah, I fumbled a bit, innit? and then at the end, it was like, oh, you should have kept going, kind of thing. Like, no one even realised you flops until he stopped rapping so I was like yeah that's true so next time if I do find more just work with it man. yeah they call it styleitout.com yeah and yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're here with the artists who just performed Bebe yeah hi. hi so how did your performance go um it went well yeah I mean yeah. yeah the crowd reaction was pretty good but uh yeah that's yeah. what I can say that's what I got, <laughs> so yeah. what, how do you what do you think about your feedback the feedback I got was uh positive the, um I won't tell you about the, what they said. I should improve on. I just bring out, bring out in this round. Okay. Yeah. So, what do you feel you could have done better? Okay, <laughs> you're digging. Um, I'd say, um, use the stage more. Okay. Yeah, use the stage more. All right. Well, we're here with the original. Yes, yes. So, how was your performance? Yeah, it was cool. You know, like quick and quality. Like obviously, I told the audience just pay attention to the lyrics I'm saying. Mm -hmm. like, I did. I didn't need them to get hyped. Needed them to listen in it. Yeah. And obviously, the judges gave me good response as well. They like my energy, they like my lyrical content and my stage presence, so yeah, it was cool. Wicked. So, what do you feel you could have done better? Um, what do you feel you just aced it? Is it all good? I can always improve, innit? Yeah. But at the top of my head, I can't think of it, but there's always something I can improve on. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Alright. We're here with Loud Lambs, yeah? yeah? So, how did your performance go? Um, it was alright, it wasn't the best, innit? Well, the judges, they told me to like, use the stage more and uh, just get my energy more up. Okay, so that's what you feel you could improve on yeah. for the next round, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So we're here with Happy Joe. Okay. So, how did your performance go? I think it went alright. I know my diction probably could have been clearer. Yeah. And that, I think it went alright. Okay, so, how, what about your feedback? Um, they basically told me at uh, some points they couldn't really hear what I was saying. Yeah. So, next performance, I'm going to come back with clear addiction. Okay, that's great. So, we have Earl Linko here who just performed. So, how did yeah. your performance go? Um, it was my first time performing in a couple of years. And, um, a bit, a bit nervous to be honest and I didn't expect the, the crowd to be so young so it's a bit I think the song choice that as the judges said it was, it was it was not the right song they just wanted a more upbeat but I don't really do upbeat so it's okay. like you know it's, it's, it's a bit difficult for me to, to do that yeah and um I did I did save my upbeat song for the last song but hopefully I get through the next round and I'm still kind of nervous still getting oh, right, I hear that so yeah. for the next performance you're just going to pick something more get the it's, crowd um, jumping it's, it's the next one I don't know the next one is not supposed to be a like, big a, like like too lively, it's about the same kind of tempo as the, uh, the first song. So I'm kind of scared for the second round, okay. but it's not it's not upbeat song if they, like, if they would like. But um, I don't know, I, I like the songs that I've, I've picked and um, hopefully it you know, goes well for me. Well, good luck. And we're here with Chrissy Young who just performed. So how was your performance? That was sick, I did it a cappella. Mm. Uh, yeah. yeah. So how do you feel, what do you feel about your feedback? Um, they said like, uh, it's kind of hard to turn up with an acapella, but still, I, I, I nailed it. Okay, so what do you feel you're going to do for your next performance? Um, well, I'm not doing an acapella again, but uh, it'll be good. It'll be good. Okay, well, good luck. We're here with Triggs, who just performed. So, how did your performance go? Um, it went alright, but it wasn't the performance that I had planned to do. That was meant to be my last performance. Okay, so how was your feedback? Um, it was good, but I got told to not look at the floor and to focus more on the people. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. So what do you feel you're gonna do for the next round if you get through? Um, focus more on the out and further back. Yeah. yeah. Look at your audience, interact. Yeah. Well, good luck. Oh, we're here with Culprit who just performed, so how do you think the performance went? I think it was right, but I let myself down in a couple of areas. Like, I was a bit fast, because obviously it's a cappella, so I could have been a bit more controlled of my speed and that, but not the right. Okay, so what about the feedback? It was good, really. It was just like what I said. I've been able to control the speed of my 
lyrics yeah. and the fact that it's a cappella, so we have to control myself a little bit more. Yeah. So. Alright, so for the next round, is it going to be a cappella? No, it's going to be an actual tune. Okay. A couple choruses on there, so. Alright, so good luck with that. And this is where you just performed, so how do you feel your performance went? Mm, I think it went alright, you know. I think I done well, I done well. Got the crowd buzzing a little bit, so yeah, I think it went alright. So, what about your feedback? Mm, the feedback was nice, was nice. The only constructive criticism I got was that I need to use the stage more, really, but next round, if I get through, you see where I go on. Okay, mm. well, good luck. Thank you. Hey, we're here with the Mixtape Project. My name's Rochelle. We're here with Young Fume and Gets. So, how did you guys find out about the Mixtape Project? Well, what's it? My cousin works closely with one of the hosts of the show. So, my next version shouted me today saying, Raw, it's popping off today. What's I'm saying about it? She spoke to my man today. So, I was like, cool. Gave my time and place and was here. So obviously you lot are quite young, I'm assuming. Mm. What kind of, like, you know, there's a lot of young artists out right now putting mm. out videos, mixtapes and whatnot. What are you guys offering to the scene right now? What do you think you're going to bring to the scene? It's like a new, innit? Energy. Energy, man. I'm it's like, energy, innit? Obviously. We're, we're going we're gonna to pop off, bro, I'm telling you. Nothing ain't a start, yeah, obviously. We're moving slow. Mm -hmm. Honestly, we're moving slow, but 2015, I'm going to bring out a mixtape. I'm not even going to talk too much on it, but I'm going to bring out a mixtape. Get a couple features on there, popular features, because that's what you need. You need to branch out, you know what I mean? But, yeah, man. That's about it. you just got to keep watching, bruv, because we keep releasing. Okay, so for us to keep watching, we need the Instagram, the Facebook, the Snapchat, the SoundCloud, mm -hmm. YouTube channel, everything. Because, mm -hmm. you know, we want to keep watching for 2015. So. Right. Go on, tell him. <laughs> Fucking Instagram, at getzeno, underscore TT. Twitter, at getzeno, underscore TID. Snapchat, getzeno45. Or you can get my number if you DM me, so it's all good in many ways. Nah, fucking yeah. Young Fume LITM, that's a Twitter. Snapchat, Young Fume, Instagram, Young Fume. Facebook, Young Fume. That's everything. Young Fume. Twitter, in fact, Young Fume LITM. I think I didn't say that, but yeah. Catch me, everything, Young Fume. You're gonna see me. I'm gonna be. You're gonna see me if you're 18, you're gonna see me. I'm telling you. TT, all the way. All right, so get following, add in, and if you wanna know more, go to mixtapeproject.com. Thank you. Yeah, so I've got Inch and Swift from Section Boys. So, obviously, last time you, you guys performed at Leaders of New School before, and now you're performing again, which I know the crowd is hyped about. So, what's been happening since you performed last time? Not really. We, um, when we performed the last time, that's when the mixtape just first came out. It's got good reception so far. Um, it was hype the last time we was here, wasn't it? It was mm. good in it, man. It's so blessed. So we just come to tear it down again. Wicked. So, like with the music, obviously, there's been a lot of videos and a lot of just a lot of crazy fan. The fan base must be mad because I've been seeing a whole lot of kids running around and girls and whatnot. Mm. So, how is it kind of like, obviously, adjusting should i say to just you know i guess i call it fame right now because it is you lot come like celebrities now yeah. so you know yeah. what's it like not even man just um obviously you nothing about the fans and that just sort of mm. their support and that we're just trying to do something different man and keep everything going and keep the good music going just try and do it for them to be honest right now so i heard about your performance in luton so how did that go that was good, you know. The Luton show was blessed. Went straight from there to another show in Nottingham. Wow. And so we've been all up and down for the past it's two crazy. days still. It's mad, it's crazy. But yeah, man, good reception up there, man. I mean, for the fans that are kind of all out, are you guys going to be branching out to, like, you know, out of London, like, completely? Yeah, wherever, wherever the shows are, we're there, man. We always come. Wherever the shows are, broadcast yeah. and we'll be there, man. Wicked. So where can we reach you to just, you know, find out more, keep up with the music? Um, all the Twitters, all of our Twitters, or go to Team Squeeze on Twitter, Instagrams, all of that, Snapchat, wherever you, whatever work, work we're on it. Yeah, wicked, wicked. So thanks for coming down. And yeah, 
If you want to find out more, go to the Mixtape Project. Hey, we're here with the Mixtape Project. My name's Michelle. We're here with Stormzy. Hey, Stormzy. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm good. So, obviously, you performed last time and you were judged. Yeah. Uh, so, what's happening now? Obviously, we the, the release of Not That Deep has been huge. Mobile awards. I've been keeping tabs on you. You can probably tell Snapchat, all of that, everything. Sorry. But, yeah, obviously, yeah, it's just it's big right now, isn't it, what's going on? I mean, you're making huge progress and it's just something so great for the London scene right now. I mean... Yeah. What's happening? What's what we what we waiting for right now? Cause you know, I'm kind of summed it up, you know. Um, <laughs> yeah, like, uh, yeah, it's been it's been it's been a it's been a all right. Yeah, it's been there's been a lot of progress made. So, I think for me right now, it's just about taking it to that next level. Do you know what yeah. I'm saying? So just elevating and every little thing I do, whether that's elevating performance wise, the music I'm putting out, visual wise, just Kicking it up into, yeah. uh, into fourth gear. Say fourth gear. Okay. <laughs> so for you, obviously, you're you're there. Like you're on. I would I'd say you're on your game. You're on top right now. But is there like for you? Is there a place where you you want to be? Like yeah, yeah, of course, or, course, course, course. Right now, I'm. I can say I'm nowhere near where I want to be. Like nowhere near. Like I'm probably one percent on my journey. That's how real. Not even that. Like, Exaggerate. I'm probably on that one percent of where I want to be. So, um, yeah, man. I just got a lot of work to put in. I got a lot of, I got a lot of things to accomplish. And yeah, I'd, like I want to be. Yeah. So I think yeah, it's just down for you to do the massive. You know what I'm saying? If yeah. This is one percent of where I want to be. Yeah. I'm trying to. I'm trying yeah. to really go for it. So yeah, man. God willing. Yeah, for real. So yeah. this year has been so huge. What are we? What are we expecting for next year? What's happening next year? I gotta try and top it. That's that's what it <laughs> yeah. is. I gotta try and top it. Like yeah, I gotta try and pull things out the bag and tricks up my sleeve and all of that. But yeah, man. So everything that I've done this year, I think next year is about just trumping it. So we're just. I don't. I don't, I think it should just go like that. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Keep on elevating. I don't want to be in the same place. I just wanna wanna keep on rising and keep on going, getting to that next level. So for me, next year is just about. Scrapping this year, like this year has been beautiful, it's been a um, godsend, it's been a blessing, but yeah. it's all about just saying, all right, cool, that's happened. Now, let's go for it, like, 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 yeah, let's just really go for it. And like, I don't like to dwell on, yeah, I've done this, I've done that car. We, As you said, we got another year, we it's got another 12 progress, months to yeah. to go all over again. So, yeah, man, I've got to go Wicked. for it. So, obviously, speaking on behalf of your fans, where can we find you? Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, so I'm quite easy. I'm just Stormzy One on Stormzy everything. One. Yeah. Stormzy One on Stormzy everything. Stormzy One. Just right. with Stormzy with a one. And <laughs> yeah. That's it yeah. really. YouTube Stormzy T V. That's not Stormzy the One. The EP dropped on iTunes, so we need to Yeah, yeah, the to EP that. The, I always forget to cut. It feels like it was so long ago, but it, what <laughs> I was quite long ago actually. That was about five five months ago. But yeah. That's not even that long ago, but yeah, the uh, Dreamers Disease EPs are on iTunes. The Not That Deep EP, Not yeah. That Deep EP, is also on iTunes. But um, yeah, I, I, yeah, that's that's me, man. Yeah. I'm just trying to hopefully I get another body of work out soon as well. So I just keep it moving. Wicked. Well, thank you for coming down. No worries, no worries. So yeah, that was the the mixtape project. If you have, if you want to find out more, go to the mixtapeproject.com.